Good morning, folks. Good morning, Russell Brand. Nice video from last night. Normally, something like this would go at the end of our morning shows, but we won't make Mr. Brand wait. Now, Russell, unless I've misgaged your acumen, you're starting to realize that astronomers jump around as much as politicians. The latest is the alleged mapping of dark matter, which, sir, absolutely did not happen. They still can't find it, don't know what it is, and are just seeing dust, plasma, gravity, and electromagnetic interactions. But as you realize, we need to question Einstein and open our minds. Don't take my word for it. Russell, we invite you to listen to the man who is at the center of the classified research on this topic decades ago. Uh, as a result, you have uh, several hundred uh, professors, graduate students that are working towards their PhDs somewhat, that are pursuing dark matter without any, any knowledge of, of what it is. There's no missing matter at all. We just had a lot of experimental data that we could compare the simulations to uh, at energy densities that universities, graduate students, professors, associate professors, full professors, professors emeritus simply did not have access to. Uh, we, we did. Uh, my gosh, the equipment that we that we burned up in the first millisecond of a nuclear explosion underground was just more than all of the universities in the world could, could afford. They, they, they simply can't afford that, to lose that, that kind of, uh, that investment in, in high power, uh, sophisticated measuring equipment so, so quickly. And uh, plus you're, you're working in an environment where uh, you're working with real world, real world physics. Uh, not, not the physics that you learn in textbooks, you know, but maybe uh, five years old, 10 years old, 200 years old. This, this, this is real world stuff. Okay then, how about we do the morning show, shall we? We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on the sun with multiple eruptions. The sun got a little CME happy yesterday and while none are coming at Earth, they are gorgeous to watch and present the sort of ramp up in activity that will charge on the next few years. Watching some of those here, the gorgeous ones were over the northwestern limb at the now departed active region, nice plasma motion to the eruptions there, and after it waved goodbye from the horizon, a new clearing of the throat is seen on the incoming southeastern limb. Eyes open as that one's turning in to face Earth. Up next, we take a look at the atmosphere of a brown dwarf rotating rapidly. It took a tremendous scientific effort with the current best technology in the world, but to use that and basically find a chemtrail layer in the star's atmosphere is a bit of a deflationary punch to the intellectual gut. Same here. Cambridge scientists asked climate scientists around the world to use the same data set and reconstruct the last 2,000 years of temperature. It was a cacophony of nonsense. They're all over the place, with variations ranging from about one degree, which is most of all global warming, to three or four or more degrees. Turns out, the data can say whatever the scientists want it to say. Interesting. No matter what, however, the core foundations of forcing the atmosphere never change much. This one looking at sea surface temperature in the North Atlantic to control the Tibetan rainfall. This is, of course, highly interconnected with the North Atlantic Oscillation, which controls temperature and rainfall across much of the Northern Hemisphere. And that, folks, is one of the earthly oscillations most controlled by the sun. That part starts on page 113 of our textbook for those following along. The sun controls the North Atlantic Oscillation, which controls Tibetan rainfall. Now, last but not least, Veteran observers at this point should be fighting disbelief over the number of recurrent Nova star systems they're discovering. This one was big, so big they originally classified it as a supernova. But as has been the case over and over, there's still the progenitor system left inside when they look, able to activate, excite, and go boom again someday. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone